In this example, we would like to find the volume of the solid that is formed by the region inside this sphere of radius 5 and outside the cylinder, the cylinder of radius 2. So what we have here is we have this uh, sphere of radius 5 and then we have this uh, cylinder going through it and we want to get the volume that's outside of this cylinder and that's inside of this sphere or more specifically uh, we would like to find the volume of the region uh, that is uh, enclosed by this sphere from outside and this portion of the cylinder inside okay so let's go to a simple sketch and before that let's just recall certain uh, certain formulas so remember in the spherical system our coordinates are denoted by rho phi and theta where uh, what is rho uh, rho is say if i take a point p here in the region then rho is the uh, distance of that point the point p here from the origin and uh, then uh, who is phi phi is this angle that this radius vector makes with the axis of z with the positive axis of z and who is theta so first here is my point uh, p right and then we are going to just just check again or review again who theta is so if we drop perpendicular from p into the x y plane you know this distance is going to be the z coordinate in the z coordinate in the typical sense then if we join this foot with the origin then who is uh, theta theta is going to be who this angle right here okay so well I, i'm trusting that you reviewed the spherical coordinates uh, before doing the int integration using these coordinates all right so let's see what the volume of this yellow solid would be and the yellow solid again is the solid bounded by this sphere from outside and this cylinder from uh, this cylinder from inside okay so here we have a volume element that's like near p and you know this uh, volume element uh, what is it in the spherical coordinates it is rho square sine phi d rho d phi d theta so if we set up the integral and uh, would like to write the coordinates uh, or the limits of rho phi and theta what we shall have is so rho is going to vary from uh, this uh, length on the lower side right to this uh, length on the higher side so the upper limit is clear that is going to be 5 from here to the boundary here uh, for the lower limit uh, let's just take out this triangle or let's just take this triangle outside so here we are so notice this that uh, what we have is that uh, if we just let me just use pencil here this angle you can note that this angle will be phi right alternate interior and this distance is 2 that of the opposite side so this hypotenuse would be what simply to cosecant phi right are we clear so what happens is that the lower limit of uh, uh, this uh, rho would be 2 cosecant phi and the upper limit will be 5 
Now let's go ahead and look at the limits of this angle phi. So for phi, uh, the lower limit would be this because this is going to encompass this entire thing. So right here is my lower limit of phi, right? And uh, that is how much, if you notice, uh, sorry about that, uh, just a second. So if you notice, this distance is uh, two, right? The radius of the cylinder, right? And this is how much? This is phi. So this angle would be what? The inverse sine of two over five, okay? So this is what this angle is, and which is the lower limit of phi. And uh, for the upper limit of phi, which means uh, we are going to look for this angle now. That is, uh, notice this, that here is our lower portion here. So the upper limit would be this angle. And who is this entire angle? Notice this. This angle is sine inverse of 2 over 5. Okay, you can see it on the figure. This entire angle is pi. So this angle would be what? Pi minus sine inverse 2 over 5. Okay. So what we have is uh, that, uh, sorry, this angle here, let me extend it. This angle here is going to be pi minus sine inverse 2 over 5. So this is the lower limit of phi and this is the upper limit. And then for theta, we will have, since we, we are encompassing this whole thing, so theta will vary from 0 to 2 pi. So we are simply going to just integrate this over uh, rho phi and theta, okay, with the limits that we just found. So let's just go ahead and go ahead and evaluate it. So what we are what we are going to find is that uh, first of all our let me just write the triple integral here, okay. And then what we are doing is that we are we got rho square sine phi, okay, and then d rho d phi d theta, okay, d phi and then d theta, sorry, then and rho ranges from, uh, remember, to cosecant phi, right, to 5, and then phi ranges from sine inverse 2 over 5, right, and uh, 2 over 5 to, excuse me, to pi minus sine inverse 2 over 5, right? And then theta ranges from 0 to 2 pi simply, right? Okay, so 2 pi here. And we can go ahead and evaluate this integral, all right? Uh, so the answer would be, uh, the answer that you see here, 28 times the square root of 21 into pi, or we can just go ahead and do that in the detail. I'll supply the details to you later. All right. Thank you.